Hi, I'm Hans Stephenson from Dakota Angler and Outfitter. Today we're going to tie a fly that addresses a problem I've had in my own fishing, but also uh, especially in guiding new fishing clients. And that <clears throat> is in regards to nymphing. I don't like using split shot very much. I used to use tungsten putty a lot, and I still do on occasion, but I'd prefer to use neither and let the weight of the flies do the work when nymphing. just makes for a cleaner cast and a cleaner rig um, and especially when you're guiding newcomers to the sport it's hard to get them uh, casting a, a nymph rig that's got split shot and <clears throat> strike indicators and multiple flies so if you can simplify it a little bit they seem to have a little bit better go of it and so this is a fly that um, I'll just tentatively call the bomb that I've been working on um, and using uh, to very good success and the, th the way to think of this fly is, is this is your main weight source. It gets you down to the bottom. It might fool a few fish because you can make it look like a caddisfly larva or a crane fly larva or some other large food item. But it does the job of getting you down to the bottom without needing any split shot. So it's very handy. You don't have that extra hinge on your, on your leader where you've got a split shot or a big chunk of putty which makes casting difficult and causes a lot of tangles. And it saves the guide a lot of headaches if you don't have to worry about um, adding that extra split shot and just adding that extra uh, source of a tangle. So what we've got is a little tungsten bead on this scud hook. This is a fairly big one. This is a size 10. And I'm going to take a small hairline rib tungsten body and tie that down to the hook. I've already laid down a nice thread base. But I'm going to tie this down now. And you can see that's a fair amount of tungsten there. And that's going to help me make sure that I really get down to the bottom. And you can change. There's multiple sizes. There's an extra small, size smaller of this. So you can tie some of these in various sizes. And I just added a little zappa gap to make that stick a little better. But tie some of these with different size weight sources. And that way you have a, a variety of weights to meet the different situations you're fishing. Now I'm going to take a little bit of tan Antron yarn just behind that tungsten body we'll tie in that Antron yarn we'll trim that off for a tail and then we'll take a piece of copper wire We'll tie that piece of copper wire down, kind of along the underside of the body here. Filling any gaps in our underbody here with some thread. So now, <clears throat> we'll take and we'll make our body of the fly. You can vary this, like I said, you know, kind of a brighter green if you'd like for a caddis larva or you can do more of an olive scheme for a crane fly larva and I'll do a mixture an olive mix of dubbing make it look a bit like a crane fly larva I'll just start kinda of with a tapered noodle and then let that dubbing get a little thicker. We got to cover up that tungsten underbody. We'll just start right back here above the tail. And then just work our way forward. I've also done this in a in a shrimp color to imitate a big big scud something kind of bright pink with a crystal flash back it's a great lead fly on the bighorn or another big tailwater and there again you you just save yourself the trouble of needing any split shot at all I'm going to take work our, our copper wire rib forward get that up behind the bead Now we'll finish that 
And you could do a couple little check nymph type tricks here where you put in. Maybe we'll do that for a good a little effect here. We'll put in a little hot spot right behind our bead. Just give it a little bit of flash. So I'll take some orange ice dubbing. Put in that little hot spot. And then I'll make my final thorax with some hairy ice dubbing in black. Just kind of a black rabbit dubbing that's got some ice dub mixed in. And then we'll do our half hitches. And you play around with the colors and anything else that you want. But now you've got a very durable fly that weighs a whole bunch that you can use just as your, your lead fly and drop a small nymph behind it if you want. But keep your leader like uh, fairly thin um, and, and kind of more of a check nymph style or use the new Rio indicator leader that has a shorter fat butt and a longer thinner taper and that'll help you get down to the bottom quicker especially if you use this as your lead fly then you shouldn't need any split shot at all and if you're going to use an indicator uh, just set the depth above this fly that you want with your indicator drop your other nymphs below it and you're all set no split shot no more nasty hinges and so tie up a few of these bombs various colors a couple different weights and you should be set to go for any of your nymphing situations. Again, I'm Han Stephenson from Dakota Angler and Outfitter in Rapid City, South Dakota. And we just finished tying the bomb. Tie some up. Good luck.